It's your girl, Coach D. Free. Here's a question. Is it a crime to psychologically trick people, manipulate people, scare people, put them in deliberately, emotionally stressful environments where they cannot think straight, when they're vulnerable? A person doing that is doing it with the intentions of pulling out sexual, detailed, personal, sensitive information. Is that a crime? Is that a crime anywhere? Because that's what the elders do. Yes, they do. And Watchtower knows. I have been thinking about this for the past at least three days. The more I learn about the world around me and the true nature of people, the more trickery I am discovering. And what lies do Watchtower tell? What lies do elders tell to continuously trick the flock into confessing to them? I'm going to tell you at least three. Hey, before we get into it, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. You can send a cash app donation or something if you want to buy me a coffee or anything like that. If you do, I appreciate it. Here's the first lie that elders and Watchtower tell to keep the sheep in a delusion. First lie, they're appointed by Holy Spirit. Some supernatural glitter from the sky. Jehovah's special magical sauce is what appoints these men. Men getting appointed in the congregation go through the same process as every other organization. You have to work hard for free for a long time and you got to kiss the right people's ass. That's how you get promoted. This whole world is built off of if you kiss the right man's ass. And that's what elders do. Kick mwah, 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 all up on the circuit overseer, lifting up his nuts, kissing under there. It has nothing to do with who they are as an individual or how they qualify. You don't have to have qualifications as an elder. You can literally be poor, stupid, and ugly and still be an elder. The appointment doesn't come from something higher than them. The appointment for those men come from other men. What's the second lie? Watchtower and the elders tell the sheep to keep them under their control while they're being pillaged. The elders are there to help you. Houseway, are they really? The elders are there to help, help who? Help themselves to your life and your information? See, this is why men like that go for appointment and why I personally feel like elders are the sorriest group of people in Watchtower Christian Cult Organization. The elders are pathetic. The elders are made up of a group of men who don't matter in the real world at all. They don't want to compete amongst other men. They want to compete and prey upon people who feel like they ain't no good in God's eyes. That's who they want to prey upon. Those are the type of men that go for positions of authority in the congregation. Yes, it is. Most men in the congregation that I saw, if they was well respected, you know what I'm saying, had money, was had, had a decent job, whatever, they never really became elders. It was rare. Like, it was rare, like, let's say you had a brother that was a doctor. It was rare for him to become an elder. He he might become a ministerial servant, but he gonna stay right there. And that's if you do that. A lot of them don't take positions of authority in the congregation because them type of men, real men who really making an important impact on the world, don't give a damn about no fake little fairy tale title, no elder. But see, the men who do go for elder, they're weak, pathetic, low achieving, sensitive men and they want the easy way out they want to get the most authority they can even if it's fake they want to get the most authority they can in as short of a time as they can and one of the lies they tell is oh yeah because i'm here to help how I elder ever helped you the elders aren't really qualified at anything not psychotherapists they're not psychiatrists they're not they're very seldom professionals in the real world they can't offer any real help all they can do is listen to you tell on yourself and then they say they can offer spiritual help if you're in a cult you can't offer spiritual help you're in a cult you're in a religion it's cool it's cool to promote self-discipline but you don't need a religion to promote that elders want you to come run to them so they can spiritually help you the elders do not want to spiritually help you they don't want to physically help you they don't want to financially help you when the elders have real opportunity to offer real help like call the cops if there's a pedophile in the hall that that would help they want to just sit down and listen to you talk about your personal business that they don't have no business knowing at all if you just happen to be a jehovah witness watching this first of all congratulations to you and second of all don't go tell them elders shit. do not go talk to the elders about nothing they cannot help you they are regular dumb men who are in a cult just like you they cannot help you. What the hell? What 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 advice are they gonna give? You talking to a low achieving man when you talking to an elder? Goddamn working at Publix in the deli section. Where is my sandwich? And I told you extra mayonnaise. You fucking hot. You niggas can't do nothing right. Holy 
moly. Goddamn, walking around the Kingdom Hall, posturing himself up like an authority figure, wearing that cheap ass suit from Men's Warehouse, talking about, I'm here to help you with your problems. I was anointed by Holy Spirit. Nigga, go sit your broke ass down and stop giving all them long nonsensical comments we do not care what you got to say please hurry the fuck up and why do you still keep giving the same talk outline see elders is whack elders are lame and they are perverted let me finish developing my point i think all elders are perverted number three once the elders in Watchtower convinces you it's okay for you to go tell on yourself to them then they lie to you again by saying this won't leave this room we won't say nothing to nobody. <laughs> liar, liar, cheap ass pants on fire. The elders will tell your business. First of all, they gonna talk about it amongst themselves because it's juicy, especially if it's of a sexual nature, which we all know because Watchtower always throws that statistic out. At least it did when I was in the organization. The organization has changed so much, so maybe they don't highlight this statistic anymore. But majority of cases, where a judicial committee has to be formed is for sexual immorality. Everybody knows that going in. Everybody. So you know you about to get some juicy stories. You about to hear about, whoo, I'm talking about brothers sleeping with they, I'm talking about fleshly brothers sleeping with their sister. I'm talking about couples that's going on cruises and they, they just all swingers. They just all be swinging nigga lanes everywhere. I'm talking about other men of high position um, cheating on their wives, having kids on their wives, that's not even that's not even that titillating and juicy because that happens so often. You will always hear about when the young people would have these parties, like out of state parties. They just be in there f freaking each other, getting drunk and freaking each other, getting high too. Naughty, naughty. See, I didn't do that type of stuff when I was a Jehovah Witness. I was a good girl. I was such a good girl that I went to the elders and confessed to them before I was even baptized. And I didn't even have to do all that. Actually, I went to the elders twice. <gasps> you wanna hear about it? You wanna hear about it? I don't even know if I should say this. How much time I got left? Oh, I got time today. So I know that they talk about, they talking about your business. You need to know that if you're a Jehovah Witness. Don't go to them elders and tell you, everybody in the congregation gonna know. They gonna, they gonna, the elders gonna talk about it amongst themselves and then you, if they married, they gonna tell their wife, then wives be wanting to know. I don't care what kind of demonstrations they give at the conventions and telling wives to mind their business. You can't help it. It's just natural. You be wanting to know where the hell your husband been at all night. Oh, I had to have a meeting with who? Oh, we had to have a meeting with a publisher. With who? Oh, publishers is so and so. And then slowly them wives get that information out. And sometimes the wives didn't even have to play the funk. You know what I'm saying? The wives didn't have to bait no information out their husbands most of the times. The husbands be going home ready to run their mouth. Because they messy. Because they messy, stupid, silly men who couldn't make it in the real world. So they want to come in the Christian congregation of Jehovah's Witness. That's a cult. And try to boss you around and get all your business so it feel like they matter. You don't matter. You was a good for nothing, no mattering nigga then. And you're probably still a good for nothing, don't matter nigga now. Okay? Okay? That's what I think. That's what I think. Oh, what you gonna do? You gonna just fellowship me? Oh, oh. Don't, you, don't you fellowship me? Don't you pretend to fellowship me, yo. Just cause I'm telling you too. Not scared of y'all no more. Them brothers is perverted. I'm sorry. If you was ever our elder, you was perverted. You just wanna hear sex stories for free. It's not a crime though. I'm trying to figure out like how you gonna sit down somebody who's young and hear about they first time having sex and what color, asking them questions like what color panties you have on? Did you orgasm? What what type of positions were you in? And this and that. Some of them brothers got a little bit way, way too detailed in what they wanted to know and they, that because they were taking advantage. That is a perversion. It may not be a crime, but it should be because that's a perversion. You shouldn't be allowed to sit there and scare the shit out of people with eternal damnation and doom and destruction if they if you don't tell them about what you and your boyfriend did. I don't know. It was always so many loopholes and shit in Watchtower. How can that be a lewd conduct but listening to people talk about their personal sex life isn't lewd conduct? Ain't that a display of a lack of self-control? Isn't that something you're supposed to have to theocratically and spiritually qualify as one of the elders? That ain't no self-control. But see, they hide behind that spiritual shield and that priest privilege or whatever the fuck it is. They hide behind that. But the truth of the matter is, they're perverts. And that's why. All of those lies 
that Watchtower uses and the elders use is just to, it's just for them to be the perverts that they are. You sitting there pouring your heart out, telling them all the juicy details about your sexual escapades, and they under the table getting hard with your little bitty penis, your little your little ugly shriveled up cheese gunked penis. You they under there getting hard. That's why sometimes them prayers will be extra long because <laughs> they trying to calm down before they stand up. Nasty, nasty, nasty. I want to know if it's a crime, especially for minors. Why? Why are you interested in that? You know what made me think about this topic? The internet is buzzing about this new movie, The Sound of Freedom, which is basically a sensationalized depiction of child, of human and child trafficking. I heard about the movie through other uh, YouTubers commenting on it, and I instantly knew I wasn't going to go see it. Because I don't need to see detailed imagery of what that life entails. I vaguely understand. Okay, it's a large ring of very powerful people who love to abuse children and eat them and they like to they need organs from people so they run very high level sophisticated operations to get these people and nobody really does anything about it because nobody really can because those highly sophisticated organizations all work together your governments your religions your organizations the same organizations that say they trying to save children they're the same ones that's plotting and trapping them up i know that been knowing that so why do i want to sit there and be entertained for two hours you know what i'm saying i don't support that if hollywood produced it you know it's gonna be full of shit is not had to, did they say some names in the movie i bet you they didn't say nobody names that you didn't already know right okay so they're not exposing nothing i don't want to be in that energetic level for too long this matrix feeds off of fear and sadness and desperation and that's all those type of productions are meant to do harness our energy make us feel more helpless and hopeless and then they feed these these beings feed off our energy i'm not giving them my energy in any form especially not my little bitty money or my attention so see i knew i wasn't going to go see it what a person chooses and wants to be entertained by says a lot about them that was a reason why i canceled netflix because they had that little cuties movie nope i deleted my netflix Ooh, sorry about that it's so hot the my camera kept overheating so i had to pull over and i'm not casting no judgments on anybody who may have seen the movie or watched that show or whatever that's you that's your mind that's your conscience that's the stuff you got to deal with you too you 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 make your own bed how you want it baby but the elders are interested in those sexual stories knowing that that's primarily what they're going to be doing that and giving them tired ass talks oh dude that wasn't me i really joined because i thought i was serving jehovah but you knew you wasn't appointed by holy spirit right you knew you had to kiss that circuit overseer ass and do all that extra hard work for free and you knew you wasn't really helping nobody because your broke lazy ass couldn't help nobody you was just helping yourself to a little ego boosting and ego stroking right and then you also knew you was lying when you told the friends that you wasn't going to talk about they business because you did it you did talk about they business so if you know all that and you was an elder just shut up don't don't come over here trying to convince me i cannot be convinced don't tell me you was deceived if you was a man because just just like the scriptures say eve was deceived but adam knew what the fuck he was doing men know what the fuck they doing men know other men men know what's going on inside their head that's why they didn't want women to serve and positions of privilege because we wouldn't have no stuff like that we wouldn't let y'all sit down in front of no 15 year old girl listen to her talk about how she lost her virginity at school it's not your goddamn business boy why don't you go build a house or some shit why don't you why don't you go get a degree or a certification why don't you go lose some weight why don't you go take some classes and dress better why don't you go wash your ass why don't you go do something else instead of worrying about what this girl was doing with whoever she was doing it with y'all was nasty you're nasty you're nasty watchtower and religion in general is an organization created by men for men. And this is what they do. Don't do shit. But be up in your business. Cause of emotional trauma and, and distress. I have friends who to this day get triggered and re-traumatized when they think about their elders meetings. So it's, it literally affects them to this day. It affects how they work. It affects their health. Some of them dealing with all different types of stuff and it's like a lot of that stuff is just bottled up stress from being subjugated to such cruel inhumane perverted treatment twice three times as much if it's a minor i want to know anyway those are my thoughts i'm about to burn up and i got to go back to work so i'm gonna go like share subscribe leave a comment let me know if you want to no pressure over here baby but if you want to share your creepy elder encounters or your or your meetings or your confessions leave it in the comments i should i might make a video about it i actually want to talk about the subject a little more in depth so i might as well keep it real with myself 
if I don't keep it real with nobody else. So, hey, it is what it is. But anyway, until next time, peace. Choose better, y'all. Choose better. Choose better. This is a positive statement. Choose better. Choose not to talk to the elders. Choose to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. Choose to show love to the people who are showing love to you. Choose not to be deceived by this matrix any further. Choose freedom. Choose liberty. Choose authenticity. Choose yourself. Choose better. All right.